To get the conference program underway, we are first going to hear from two African celebrities with disabilities, Crystal Asige and Fungai Mutsinze. This is Fungai Mutsinze from Malawi. All right, um, Fungai Mutsinze. Um, I'm visually impaired uh, from Malawi. I'm a musician and I'm also a media practitioner. So I can actually say, we did not have much challenges. Uh, assistive technologies, uh, these are technologies that actually assist people with the different disabilities. It is these assistive uh, devices or technologies that actually help us read through the messages and respond accordingly. So I would advise people to actually familiarize themselves with the assistive technologies. It was in 2010 when I got my first laptop and it was in the very same year where I even got the assistive devices. Assistive technologies have assisted me a lot in so many ways. And uh, for example, as I tell you, I'm a media practitioner. Whenever I'm having a program, probably I have to prepare in advance in terms of the academic aspect of it, they have also assisted me in so many ways. And I can safely say there are some other exams where I've made it, I've passed with like credits, some even distinctions, just because of the very same assistive devices. Most of the people with disabilities are very intelligent and have the potential. What this means is when we choose to exclude them from the conversation, we're losing out. Crystal is wearing a yellow short sleeved blouse and she's talking to you facing the camera. My name is Crystal Asige. I am from Kenya. I'm a visually impaired person, AKA VIP. I wear many hats, including being an award-winning musician. I'm also a producer, public speaker. I also have a YouTube channel um, speaking about PWD issues, as well as being a board member at Amnesty Kenya fighting for the rights of persons with disabilities. I wasn't born blind. I actually was born at full sight, but due to a glaucoma diagnosis in my teens, I gradually lost my eyesight. I think my biggest challenge when I was a teenager and losing sight was being able to read, being able to study, being able to read in class, read the blackboard, that really affected other parts of my life a lot. I remember in university when pursuing a film and theater degree, obviously being a visually impaired person and dealing with sight loss very much affects the visual arts. There was a student in my class who used to bully me, having this particular person embody all of my fears in class every single day with me was extremely challenging. Assistive technology in my day-to-day -day life has changed the game completely. I cannot express enough how much I have been able to reach higher heights through assistive technology. It helps me to download apps that make my day-to-day -day life much easier. For example, Be My Eyes, for example, Smart Scribe. So many things have been opened up to me um, using smart technology. Assistive tech has also helped me as a musician because I'm able to film my own content on my devices if I've got nobody there to help me. Allows as well for people to understand my life. I think this term global village needs to include persons with disabilities. As much as the internet has been able to bring everyone around the world closer, it also needs to include assistive tech being high on, on the priority list of different countries, different governments, different companies. I believe that limitation is only in your imagination. And if we can put assistive tech in people's hands, you have no idea what we'd be able to do as persons with disabilities. Thank you, Crystal and Fungi, for those remarks. And of course, the encouragement through your videos. Indeed, we are on.